the don't pass bet followed by laying the maximum odds allowed by the casino is the mathematically best bet in craps. Now stick around and I'll tell you why. There are plenty of opinions and discussions to be had about craps and that's why I love this game. There is no one size fits all way to play. But if you're talking about the pure mathematical aspect of the game, this is just a fact. The don't pass lane maximum odds is the lowest house edge bet you can make on the dice table. Let's back up and describe the don't pass bet. Now many of you are familiar with the pass line bet. The first roll or the come out roll, a seven or an 11, and you win your bet. If a two, three or 12 rolls, you lose your bet. If any other number rolls, this then becomes the point and the object of the game is to roll, in this case, the six before a seven. A six rolls, you win, a seven rolls and you lose. The don't pass works the opposite. On the come out roll, the seven or 11 is a loser and the two or the three is a win. The 12, however, is a push or a tie. Now many see this don't pass bar and think that's what it's called. It's not, it's just the don't pass or the don't pass line. Bar means it means bar the 12 or accept the 12. If the 12 rolls, you do not win or lose the money, it's just returned to you. Now once the point is set, if you roll the number, and in this case it's, the point is five, if you roll a five before the seven, you would lose your don't pass bet. But if the seven rolls before the five, you would actually win your don't pass bet. The great thing about this is the seven is the most common number to be rolled with six dice combinations. So after, and that's the key, after the point is set, the don't pass is always more likely to win than lose. You could call it the favorite to win. So if this is the mathematical best way to play, why doesn't everyone just play this way? Well, the math is based on infinity, or you often hear it called the long term or long run. What happens in the next 10 minutes, 10 hours, or 10 days can vary greatly on what the math actually dictates. And this is why we gamble, a short term chance at some luck in the dice going in our favor. Mathematically, the don't pass is the best bet when considered over all time. But what about the very next roll? If you had $10 to bet on just one roll of the dice, would you bet it on the pass or the don't pass? You should have chosen the pass because between the seven and 11, there are eight combinations to win and only four combinations to lose between the two, three, and 12. That is a two to one advantage. If you bet the don't pass, there are only three winning combinations of the dice and eight ways to lose, a significant disadvantage. That's the short term game, but over the long term, the advantage after the come out roll is flipped and over time, the don't pass has a slight mathematical edge. Let's take a closer look at the house edge. The pass line edge is 1.41%. What that means is for each $100 bet, the casino keeps a commission of $1.41. Seems pretty small, and it is when compared to most gambling, but the casino happily collects that tiny amount over thousands of players and they never shut the doors. So they really are playing a long-term math game. Now the don't pass is 1.36% or 1.4% depending on how you calculate it. I'm going to go ahead and use 1.36%. A $100 bet costs you $1.36 in house edge. So the difference between the pass and the don't pass is about five cents per $100 gambled or bet. Really not much of a difference. So if you prefer to play the pass versus the don't pass, as most people do, the math is just pennies difference. So my advice, play the side that you have the most fun with. Now 1.4% is one of the best bets in the casino, but you can lower that house edge even further on the don't by laying odds. Laying odds is an additional bet once the point is set. You are betting additional money that the seven will roll before the point. Now the casino pays you at the true odds of winning. But remember after the point, the seven is the favorite to win. So with favorites, you have to bet more money to win back less. Take a look at the four. There's twice as many ways to roll a seven than there is a four. There are three dice combinations to roll a four, but there are six dice combinations to roll a seven. So you are a two to one favorite. So if you bet $100, you'll win back only $50. The house edge on the odds bet is 0% because they pay at true odds, which simply means they pay fair and don't take a percent or commission out of the bet. 
Now you have a don't pass bet of $10 at 1.4%. Then you lay $100 in odds at 0%. Well, what is the house edge on the $110 total that you have at risk? The math works out to 0.124%. At 0.124%, the casino is only collecting 12 cents out of each $100 bet, an amazing bet. The overall house edge has lowered because you are mixing in or diluting the bet with more money at 0% house edge. Now don't misunderstand me, laying odds does not make the bet more likely to win. It is simply lowering the house edge of the total amount bet. It doesn't matter if you choose to lay zero odds, or up to 10 times in odds, you are still paying the casino 1.4% of the amount bet here on the don't pass. The odds bet really comes down to your bankroll. If you plan on making $100 bets, it's gonna be better in the long run if you make a $10 line bet and lay $90 in odds, as this will get paid at true odds and have a 0% edge, and only $10 will be subject to the house edge. If your budget only allows, or you plan on only making $10 bets, then just stick with that. Don't even worry about the odds, because again, no matter what, you're going to be paying 1.4% house edge to make that bet. I wanna warn you, be careful when playing a math game with the casino and thinking that you can outsmart them. They have all the time and budget in the world to outlast you. They will take their cutter percentage as it's built right into every single bet you make. They are not offering you true odds out of the goodness of their hearts. They are enticing you to put more money into action on the table and more money at risk. They're willing to gamble with you knowing that they will take their cut no matter what and in the end they will win. There you have it, the best mathematical bet in the game of craps. Does it mean you'll win if you play it more? It certainly does not. Only the tumbling dice will decide if you win or lose. Whether you like to play the pass or the don't pass, take odds or lay odds, good luck on coloring up.